Hey guys, welcome and thank you for coming over and watching this video. I really thought that this would be a better way to share my big news and to tell you a little bit more about me for those of you that have not followed me for that long of a time period. You may be missing some of the details. I often get asked these questions in the comments and either I just don't see them or I don't have time to respond to each one. So. Hopefully you guys will be interested in this stuff. If you're not, just tell me <laughs> or you won't be here to begin with. So we'll see how this goes. Um, first of all, I am not leaving TikTok. I freaking, I have an undying love for TikTok. I will be honest, a lot of creators really um, bash it and they focus on the numbers and the views and all that stuff and honestly, I don't care that much. Like I have really come to the point after being on for um, almost three years now, I'm just at the point where I just want to be able to give value. And I see that like even if a lot of views are not there, I see that in the comments. And, and I also, I pull from it a very much a learning experience. Like the guy, the Guys that give me feedback that might not be in agreement with me, I really, I take in because guys, I give advice to men. I'm not a man. Like I am very much open-minded to then any man in my comments saying whatever and his opinion. Of course, you know, everyone, even every man can be different and there can be very different viewpoints and thoughts and beliefs. So I tried to kind of take it all in, but I I will never diminish somebody's opinions when I am not even that gender, you know, when it's very much related to a gender issue. So with that being said, why don't we get into the questions that I am most frequently asked? The top one has to be my relationship status. I, I think it's been pretty clear to most of you that I am in a long-term relationship. We've been together now for almost three years. It, actually it had started like right around the time that I had started TikTok so it's it's been very interesting sort of our progression of our relationship and then um, my progression on TikTok and the videos and the content that I create and so uh, every time on TikTok that I've ever spoken about my man or my boyfriend or the guy that I'm seeing it has been that same man so let's get to the next question question two the one that I also see very frequently is uh, men asking me what has inspired me to do the content that I do because it's very rare for a woman to speak to a man's point of view, whether we're talking about dating or relationships. I, I like to speak about both and I do emphasize the man's perspective because honestly, there is a lot of women creating women's perspectives on social media and when men speak about their perspectives on dating and relationships honestly I barely ever see a good response um, maybe it's my algorithm let me know what you guys think in the comments please but from what I have seen at least three years ago because I think that there has been some change and I think that there's been more women like me that have come out in the last two years that have really pushed for a man's perspective. And I think that is kind of shifting things on social media. But again, maybe that's just my FYP. So that's why I wanna know from you guys if you have seen this change or if you're still feeling like when a man talks about his perspective and his thoughts and feelings about whatever specific issue has happened or miscommunication has happened in a relationship, he is, not validated. His opinion doesn't matter. Uh, a woman's opinion and feelings matter more and he has to be more of that support of her. It's sort of like the common thing that I hear within relationships where it's when a man has hurt feelings from something that his woman did and then he speaks to that and he tries to tell her why it has hurt his feelings and that, first of all, it even has hurt his feelings, she gets hurt over it, right? So it's like a double take. She gets hurt over him having hurt feelings. 
And then the conversation ends up being him consoling her about his feelings. So anyways, that's a common one that I see. And I, I think that that has just been really demonstrated in a lot of different videos that are out there that women create. And then also the women's response typically in the comment section of a man's video speaking about his perspective. So my goal really is to to bring like common sense and balance because I don't think that most of the things and reactions that I see on social media is not real life how things would be in relationships. But I do think that the young generation is very much influenced by seeing this stuff on social media and it might start impacting them and how they are treating relationships in real life. And I think that is just the worst, worst outcome. So that's my goal is to bring the other side. And I really hope more women are going to be open to this. I'm hoping that I can capture more women in my YouTube audience fingers crossed because I think it's more difficult to do on TikTok just because of how the algorithm is. Let's get to um, the other stuff that has inspired me is very much my background, right? I have an amazing dad that has been amazing all of my life, super supportive. He has always, always promised that he will be there for me through thick and thin. Look at this. I didn't plan on tearing up in my first YouTube video. The other part of it is that I have two older brothers that are also amazing. Part of this relates to my journey and things that happened four or five years ago with my divorce and really being at my lowest of low and the other men in my life just stepping up. So anyways, that gets into details too. Yeah, Yes, I am divorced. So here is this crazy lady on TikTok talking about men's sides of things. And I was married for 12 years and ended up divorced. Some of you might remember the details of that if you have followed me for some time. But I try not to share that also too much now because I have two children by him and I'm trying to protect them. And Honestly, I am somebody that would have remained married through thick and thin almost anything, but I do have like three deal breakers and one of the things that happened was the deal breaker for me and I had to be true and honest with myself and there's just, I couldn't sacrifice that. I will sacrifice a lot, but I couldn't, I knew that I couldn't sacrifice that. That's really as specific as I will get on that, guys. Um, the next most common question that I get, or I should say it's, it's when I tell you guys this information and the reaction that I get from it is, is always the same. Like I will always have a million comments saying that I do not look my age. So I am 37. I just celebrated my 37th birthday in January. So that's how old I am. Um, and like I said earlier, I do have two children. They're still pretty young. I waited until I was like in my late 20s to start having kids. More on that later. <laughs> Actually, let's just get to it now because this video is already getting kind of longer. Um, my big news, my big, big, big news, uh, what I have always wanted in my life is to have a pretty big family, including lots of kids. And I am 37, right? Like there's only so much longer <laughs> that I have to have children. And so I, I've been so lucky, honestly, in the last three years to get to the point where I am, where, you know, because of, honestly, because of TikTok, I, I did have a career, guys, and I technically, like, still do, and I have a doctorate degree in that career field that I used to be in. I'm just not actively working in it now because, because I am passionate about what I'm doing now. I was absolutely passionate about everything that I did in the past also, but 
I am also a bit of a little bit of a free spirit. Like I like change. I like doing new things. I love self-improvement. I love pushing the boundaries. So this is also new to me. It gets me like really uncomfortable. I would have never predicted that I would be any what any bit of comfortable in front of a camera, honestly. So that's why I do what I do now. And I am so, I'm just so blessed because of where I'm at uh, financially, emotionally, and in my relationship that we are expecting. This will be my third child, first shared with my man. And his name is Tom, by the way. I'll give you that bit of information. And uh, it is his second because he does have um, a child from his prior relationship. And I am 12 weeks today. I think I'm going to release this video on YouTube today. So it's Friday, March 24th. And I am 12 weeks due in October. So I'm going to be sliding into my videos with a growing belly. Um, and hopefully... I, I can give even more of a perspective, you know, potentially on going through pregnancy and in a relationship and, you know, hopefully that'll be cool, guys. And, and I do think that, like, pregnancy and having a newborn, it, I think that that can be relatable to any amount of stress in a relationship. So as I live it, guys, I will, I will share it. And that's what I want to do with this channel. I want to be able to bring even more thorough detailed advice and hopefully you guys see value in it so i hope you stick around please subscribe so that you don't miss these videos i don't have a set schedule yet of like how frequently i'm going to upload but um every so often i'll update you guys and of course you can follow me over on tiktok too because i will continue to be there every single day <laughs> so Thanks guys for hanging in there for the news. I will see you later.